Hey, y'all, it's just so Trish, and it's another plan with me for July 13th, 2015. Um, we are still closing up the last few little books and such, but um, we are kind of school schooling through the summer because we do kind of go year-round every day, whatever. But anyway, so today I'm going to cover my layout, but I also am covering a new form I have made that I'm going to make available in the link down there, and it's... Um, just a real easy way to keep the grades that you use if you use Christian Light Education. It's just a really w easy way to kind of keep track of the grades and where you're at with the books. So that will come after I cover this. Also, don't forget, I have a giveaway going on that ends July 16th, 2015. So if you're reading, the, watching this video later on, it was in 2015. So don't forget to go find that. I'll throw a link down there too for that. So I do want to tell you that as I'm sitting here planning out talking to you about my planner and I really like using my planner as like a spring off to kind of give you a catch up to what we're doing. It's kind of like my little vlog what's going on with us. Um, I think I'm going to change that and I'm going to make it where I will do 30, a series of 36 plan with me's throughout the year. Now I'm not really sure if it'll be 36, but what my thinking is is there's 36 weeks in a year and I will show you every week and talk to you what we're doing because it's just nice and easy to see what somebody else is doing on her own convenient time to kind of keep us motivated and checked and encouraged. Um, the other thing is Keep an eye out. I'm going to be posting a video all about the Christian Light Education Learning to Read program. I feel like this is their star jewel of all of their curriculum. Now, granted, I have not gone into the fifth grade level. It's, I've been experiencing their fourth grade and below. But their Learning to Read, I believe, is off the charts fantastic. And I'm going to be posting for the next few weeks the curriculum we're using. So keep your eyes out for that also. And again, don't forget my planner. My giveaway for my Dollar Tree haul is this Friday is the video. So you better enter it by Thursday at midnight. All right. So isn't it pretty? Anyway, it is pretty. Lots of stickers. That's because down here at the bottom is VBS. And it was really cool because, you know, VBS has a theme and a Bible verse every day. And I went and just did some Google image searching. And I was able to pull up these little summaries for the day. And, yes, we're doing Everest. You might be doing a different VBS. Every church kind of picks. There's a couple main themes that go on. So I was able to pull those off. And they actually had, the image had this part stuck next to it, all the little people. And I kind of cut those apart. So all of this is straight off Google Images. When I went to the main website for the VBS, they had these that you could get really clear ones. So I just kind of had fun and copied and cut and paste and just kind of decorated our evenings with it because it is our evenings. And then on top of it this week, the kids... The, our local 4-H had two camps going on this week. One is for Tuesday and Wednesday, which today's Tuesday, so hence why I finally have some quiet time to video. Um, it's a rocket camp, and then there's a sign language camp. And again, with these, all I did was go through and click, do a Google search and clicked on these images and saved them and printed them out and put them through my Xyron machine. Just kind of, I like, enjoy making my own stickers. You know, I can customize it and then just a little washi tape. And it's been fun because the kids can look in the book and say, Hey, this is what we got going on this week. It's really cool. And this is kind of turning into the main planner where the kids go and check what's going on versus them being nosy in my personal planner. Now, I did use some of these same stickers and just kind of, you know, not to give you everything I got going on to this week, but to give you a kind of layout and just bring it, kind of bring the two together. If I'm making one set of stickers, why not make another one? So that's what I've got going on. I think it's pretty cool. Let's see, nothing. And um, 
it lets me know what we did this week. I did pull out two Bible verses that I really, really enjoyed that's going on at, um, in VBS, and I feel like it hits home. You know, God will generously provide all your needs. I'm going to have to circle needs and remind my children that this is not wants, but needs. And myself, of course. And then he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. So I really like those two. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put those there to remind us. And it's kind of nice because it's giving me a great, almost journaling. Oh, awesome baseball game we went to. Kind of. It gives me like a journaling to what we were, um, kind of, what, what, what verses were hitting home. Let me just do side note on here. We went to a baseball game. And here I've been... Let me just say, I'm dealing with some definite postpartum anxiety. We go to the baseball game. We are not sitting down for 15, 20 minutes, eating our food, you know, I'd say enjoying the game, but mostly socializing. Would you not know, would you not know that a pop ball, fly, whatever you call it, because I don't go to the baseball games very often, comes over heading straight for my children who are obliviously eating. And the only thing I get out of my mouth is like, to my husband, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. You know, and he's just like, what are you, what is squawking about? And then, bam. Thankfully, we were on the very top in the railing in front of us. The ball hit the railing with, like, crazy force. I mean, we are, like, the third section up. We are on the very top. And, I don't know. It, my blood pressure never came back during the rest of the game. I'm, like, eyes out there for the next fly ball. So... It was fun, but definitely kind of made us crazy. And then, of course, it was 7-Eleven, so 7-Eleven had free Slurpee Day. So we finished the night off with Slurpee, Slurpee. So I'm not sure if that Coke Slurpee and the anxiety of the pop fly ball did anything good for me. But the kids had a great time and have a wonderful story. And I'm kind of happy if I don't go back for another year. Okay, so let me get on to the forms that I made. I have made a new form for my planner that I am excited to share with you. It took me a while thinking about it. And figuring out how um, to solve the problem of kind of recording grades. I'm not a really a big grader anyways. But just having a point of keeping track of what we're doing. And how you know how they do on their quizzes and where we're at. And having it all in one place. So coming from some experience I had in the past with Alpha Omega's um, life packs. I kind of came up with something probably very similar to use with um, my light units for CLE. So with this one, what I did was I created a little graph or chart for each one. This is the one I have for science. I have all of the um, subjects on here. And I made myself a place for each quiz and then the, any others that might come up in there, like any, I don't know, I just left it open to kind of put a spot to average them together to do the test and put the average at the end. But I gave 12 blocks. Even though at the most there's going to be 10, this gives me the ability to kind of move ahead and catch up. So, I, children. So, I have one for each subject, and I put the subject on the side, and I figured at the end of the year I would go ahead and I would write the grade on the side, and I could use this as a report card. I can section it off by quarters. But, um... I thought this would be good and it also helped me out on ordering. I know what I need to have and I have it in one spot and I know where we're at. So I thought this would be something really cool to add to the forms I use in my planners. I'll be gluing this into my planner to keep track of and I want to make it available to you. So in the link down in the comment in my description, I'll have a link to this PDF that you can download and print. So, thank you so much for being one of my audience members, and I'm so close to um, getting this year started and everything else, and I hope this helps. So, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and I will keep sharing the crazy little forms that I like to make. Alright, bye!